Hello YouTube, this is the engineer from the tag team, architect and engineer from the 8-bit engineers. This is the detailed explanation video on how my perpetual motion device works. We'll be going over how the redstone timer works, the difference between perpetual motion and normal boosters, and just how far it will shoot the minecart whether you are in it or not. Now I'm assuming everyone watching this video has already seen the video where I introduced the device, so you, if you haven't, go see it now, it's in the description box underneath. Now. So what you see here is an organized version of my timer. As far as I know, this is an original device, but I haven't researched it extensively. Let's start from the beginning. Here we have a simple booster-ish thing that activates a little clock. That's just a ticker, basically. Tick, tock. It would go in here, see I'm missing that, because that would turn on the timer. And if you'll remember from the first video, we have our gate and we have our memory block. Alright, it's much cleaner here. The gates, I mean the uh, memory block is off, turned on. When it's on, this will turn off as such. Let me get the redstone out. It'll turn on as such, turning off this gate. Now since the power isn't activated, this is off, but if the power was activated, this would be on when this is off right away. And we'll demonstrate that. And then it comes to the next one, and see it stops here in this setup. That has to go, see it's activated because of this, and that's on, just like this. This is how it would look in the ticker. And then this would turn off, activating this one. It has to have a, uh, an entire, entire uh, ticker delay in order to go in. It doesn't do it automatically. If you just, if this was set up to a button and you pressed it once, it only activate this gate, press it again and activate the next gate, press it again, activate the next gate, and so on and so on. So let me reset this and you'll see how it works. See? Off. On. All the way then it lights this up. Alright. Now see, then all that's changing is this. Now normally, in the uh, perpetual motion device, when the mine, this is when the minecart would switch off the loop and go into the reset. And the reset would essentially simultaneously re-deactivate all these gates. And it would start the process over. All these, uh, memory blocks and it would start the process over. So we'll just have to do this manually real quick. It's real simple to do it manually too. Just gotta do that. And like I said in the first video, it's very important when power's off to have this side on and this side off. Again, I stress the importance of this. This way, otherwise if this was on right now, they would both turn off simultaneously, turning these two off simultaneously, turning these two sim off simultaneously, and there would be no, there would be no uh, stop it, stoppage action. It would just go straight through. Make them different. The pause. One more demonstration. All right. No. Hey. No. See on. Off. On. Off. On, off. And simple ways, if you're not looking for uh, the perpetual motion, this can be used in a lot of ways, actually. Uh, you can just make the uh, minecart track longer. But as it is now, you have to make sure this track is the same length as your middle booster in the perpetual motion device. That way, it'll be the same every time where the track switches over. And that's the red redstone explanation. You can see this literally took maybe th 10 minutes to set up. Redstone, nice and neat like this, makes it very easy. All right. Now that's done. We're going to go back to the track. Here we are back at the perpetual motion device. And you'll see over here I set up a normal booster. All right, just like this. 
Now we're going to see how far it goes, and you just set it go. That's how far it goes without anybody in it. That's it. That distance, right here. Let's build a little, little block epitaph to it. Normal booster goes this far. And it's getting dark, so we're going to have to wait till morning. Alright, it's daytime, and as you can see, I'm back at my uh, device. And that didn't go far at all. Let's compare it to my system. Now, uh, those who see, saw the video before knew that you just press button and you had to click it at the right time. I've added this instead to minecart whole launching system. I'm not going to be in it, so I'm just going to click the button and walk away. Now, something I added way down here, let's see if I can actually manage to get there before he does. No! Oh! Damn it. Oh well. Something I've added way down here, you can maybe start seeing the distance, is basically going from here all the way to the top of the map. People, the people who've experimented a lot with minecarts will know trying to do this with the booster is a pain in the ass. Some, a lot of the times, an empty minecart won't go up. You really have to be in it or have a lot of really good booster right before it to send it up far enough. This thing went all the way to the top, no problem. We go back for quite a few rounds, but uh, I'm not going to be chasing it around. But essentially, an empty minecart can travel all this distance. When you saw the other one stopped right here, this one has already gone up, gone all the way to the top of the map, which takes a lot of energy, and come back. I mean, it's so much easier. Uh, stop. Alright, so, we're going to head back. See, the system already reloaded itself. We just got to put the new cart down. You can also just really add a hopper right near it to send a cart right there. It's very simple. Alright. Now the, the system won't activate until you press the button, so, let's get ready for a long haul. We saw that cut right there. I was debating uh, whether to uh, tear down the stairs and just go around, but it has a loop on top. So we're going to head out. And the key... See, I did this one time from dawn to night to night to dawn to halfway through the day, and then a sheep jumped on the track and stopped it. There was no, this was out the stairs, it's just looping around. There was no even hint of stopping. I mean, at all. I tested this while in the normal booster, without the uh, tracks to heaven, and it went around twice, I think. The sun barely moved in the sky. I mean, it went a considerable amount, but this will bring you anywhere. Alright, now I do believe I'm going to fast forward all this through you. So, just prepare for a long wait. I mean, even with fast forwarding, I mean, you're just going to see the sky blaze around you, and we'll see just how long, pigs or not, this will last. I'm standing and sitting at the same time. That is marvelous.
And, uh, that's the end of the ride, thanks to the sheep. But I do believe the sun's about to rise. Because I can't see the... Oh, never mind, there's moon. But yeah, we would have gone on for quite a bit more time. There was, there was no even hint of slowing down. I mean, had no issues cresting the top each time. And I'm sorry that this tutorial, uh... Ends at night time. I mean, that's kind of lame. And that is the more detailed description and testing of the perpetual motion device. Hope you guys enjoyed. Rate it, comment it, like, comment, like it, and subscribe. This is the 8-Bit Engineers, and signing out.